Okay, after a little more work, I do believe our pedestal is finally ready for jacket. We went ahead and made it deeper. We've got a, about a, as good of an undercut on it as I think we're going to get in amongst all of this iron stone. So, next step is jacketing. All right, if you can hear me over the whipping of the wind. We have the alien pedestal. It is ready for plaster. And we have our crock jaw. We have it pedestaled up and it is ready for jacketing also. The next day. All right, uh, we are getting ready to jacket and remove these wonderful fossils here. They are nicely pedestaled out. So we're getting ready to put a plaster jacket on them and finally complete the process of getting them out of the ground. Crunch them into your groove. Kind of like how we had them when we left. Yeah. <laughs> and that will help keep the tinfoil on when you're putting the plaster on. Yeah, let's see. Put the water in first. All right, so the plaster in itself goes in, and what you want is you want the, the texture of like pancake batter. And if you have lumps in it, you're going to just kind of squish the lumps against the wall. That's a little thin, so you're going to put some more in there. do this really quickly because it'll set in the bucket so why don't we do this I will give you your pieces and then you wrap them okay, okay. Thick. Do is take it squeegee it out and then fold it in half and wrap it around there and try to get it around there really nice and snug along the base You, want, <laughs> you don't I've look. Done, like, I've done one before. Oh, I was gonna say you don't look terribly interested. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. Right, so get that bottom in there, nice and snug. And you can actually kind of pull on the one to try to get it nice and tight. Yeah, like you're tying a, a string. So if I hold this one, and then you pull on that one, this one here, and try to tuck it underneath there, it will definitely help with it. All right, I don't want to get my hands in there because that just makes it more confusing when you see four hands in there and you're like, wait, I'm not doing this. <laughs> Really put and slide that in there. Before I actually do anything, All right, now I'll give you this piece. That should be a winner right there. Yeah, just take that straight over the top. I do, but that's yep. I got my girl. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> the lawyer, but yeah, massage that bad boy in there. I'll give you this one to go around that one. Like, yep, that, got my girl. Back off. <laughs> Are you married? No. 
now. We live in California, so we're both trying to be a little bit more financially secure before we. Yeah, I made a jacket the other day. It was just thing. an absolute tragedy. But she's working on lawyers. Thought it was going to be perfect. Lawyers, it so just came apart on me. I'm like, you jerk. Right so, you know, all the best yeah, laid plans, and you still end up with a pile of dust. I'm like, yeah. so. Is this where you doubled? Or? This is the one where you fold it in half, like so. I couldn't tell if it was folded or not. Either. And then wrap it around nice and snug around the inside. Get it down in there. Good. Put nice and snug. And then get it inside. Do that same thing. Pull it nice and tight. Okay. See? That's really good right there. Actually, that's a little bit lot, so we'll just take this and open it over the top. Let's see. I feel like the rain just hit the ice cream. seemed like it was going to be way too much. Yeah. I had to start. Yeah, that's uh, interesting because you got to, it's a skill that I'm still learning, you know, is, is estimating how much plaster you actually want to put on a jacket and how much, but these look really good. I'm going to take that. So if you guys just want to how stubborn some people can be one dad, one dig. Perfect. All this out in one day. Nice. Guys, you didn't have to do this. Abundanza. They look good. What does that mean? It means delicious. <laughs> much, much, much later. We've given the plaster jackets here plenty of time to dry, and so now it is time to get underneath them and bring these out. So let's get to it. Alrighty. Alright, so. Take that trowel, and what you want to do, or somebody wants to do, is at the base of that field jacket, put the pointed end of the trowel and start in the middle of the jacket. Don't start at one of the ends, start at the middle. And now what you're trying to do is imagine that that's a hamburger on a grill, and you're trying to get a spatula under it. So what you're trying to do is push that trowel underneath that now it's going to offer a significant amount of resistance because there is a boulder in there um, and there's lots of pebbles underneath it so it's going to take a little bit of muscle to get that thing under there okay if it doesn't go there then move over a little bit and find another spot very good there you go now you got a bite now keep going back and forth with that there you go there you go and the object is to get that trowel completely underneath that field jacket. Because that way you'll know that that field jacket is ready to flip. If it's, um, if it's a larger jacket, um, sometimes you'll work uh, with two trowels on one side, two trowels on the other side. And then when you flip the jacket, you actually keep the trowel on the side uh, that is not covered by the jacket. Okay. That way stuff doesn't come flying out. Hey Hunter, I've got another trowel in the big box. If you want to, that way you guys can work on opposite sides. I feel like there's a big iron stone right there. There, there probably is. Yeah. I, had to, I had to dig through a lot of iron stone to trench around that. So you, you might slide over here towards this and yeah, and work in a little bit that way. I get it. And that trowel will find points where it will move. Um, you're going to have to move it around a little bit, find the spots between the pebbles. Here, here, how do I start on that side? Yeah. And really force it under there. Pretty good spot right there if you keep working that spot. You just kind of go back and forth. There you go. And what you'll end up seeing is eventually you'll break it away enough from the earth where it'll pop. All 
All right, young man. Can I have a turn? Thank you, sir. Okay. Here, do it. Put the trowel under it. Yep. See. And then use the trowel to flip it. Yep. Get it under there to help support. Okay. Oh. Flip it fast. There. That's you. Good. Good one. Good. Oh yeah. That's a winner. All right. Nicely done, gentlemen. Okay. That is one down. One down. One to go. One more to go. You always want to check in there because there's always goodies in there. <laughs> yeah. Here, use the brush. Use the brush. So, yeah, see, that's why you dig a deep pedestal because you know you're going to lose some. You put that nice edge in there just to keep everything forced in there. And then that, some of it breaks away, but you keep the bone perfectly still and perfectly safe. And you lose a little bit of the rock around it. Nicely done. Yeah, I don't see anything either. Yeah, we have a another chisel that's about about that wide that we'll usually use for something like that when we have a one that's actually sticking inside of a rock or sticking to a rock. And what's hey, your, you leave that toad alone, you toad wrangler. And for the audience watching, since you're not usually here, what's your name? Logan. <laughs> Logan. All right, Logan is helping us today. And it's time to get the second jacket out. You have any better luck than on the last one? I was dumping over there and then a bunch of saw something out of the corner of my eye. I thought it was just dirt. I was surprised when it started to rain that more of them didn't come out. Mm -mm. They usually come after the rain or before the rain. Well, usually when you get puddles. Oh, yeah, you're getting under that a lot better than the other one. Jump in the puddles and soak up the water. And there's an iron stone maybe like right there, but I haven't felt any other. It's a big dude. <laughs> Why was there a toad? <laughs> Come here, buddy. <laughs> Big boy. Yeah, big boy. <laughs> Let's try this, see if we can capture some progress. Put one, get up under there a little bit and lift. Okay. A few minutes later. See if you can work that trowel. Okay. There it is. One big clay stone. Yep, that was the problem. Great big old clay stone. Came out in one piece, just like we wanted. Good job, Logan. Thanks for your help. Thank you. 